Well, hello there. You're probably wondering, hey, what are you doing at this time? I'm protecting the Iron Temple. Someone has to do it. We haven't been here forever since D1, and I kind of fucking miss it. It's probably the, one of the best social spaces ever. Anyway, some while ago, I made a video called The Top 10 Problems of Crucible, and it was during the season of Opulence, pre-Shadow Keep. And since then, a lot of things in the sandbox have changed. So, I thought I'd make an update video on things that need fixed in the Crucible season of The Worthy. Um, I'm going to try to stay away from trials in this one because I'm going to make a whole separate video, but I think a lot of people have already touched on that. And, you know, Bungie's already addressed the changes they're planning on making that's going to help trials out. Um, but for now, I'll just stick to regular Crucible, uh, comp, quick play, control, all that stuff, the rotator playlist. So, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and start this video, man. Alright, so to start this list off nice and slow, some things from the last list that was done last year will return, like maybe a few things, but start off here at number 10, heavy ammo, uh, once again I'm going to complain about it just a tiny bit, it's nowhere near as bad as what it used to be, uh, you don't see it nearly as much as you used to in Season Opulence or before that. The only problem I have with heavy ammo now is it, it, more than one person is able to grab it, which is kind of... It's a double-edged sword because it does help with bounties, weekly bounties, and uh, Iron Banner bounties. The problem with that is when more than one person has heavy, it becomes a little annoying. Uh, like I said, it's not a big complaint. You don't see it nearly as much as you do anymore. It's not that big of an issue. Uh, I just don't understand why they decide to get everybody. Like I said, I understand why. I, I kind of, you know, contradicted myself there. But either way, I... I understand you, yeah, I don't understand at the same time, I guess, top bounties out, but at the same time, it's just, I don't know. It's just a little grab of mine, nothing big, but heavy ammo is number 10. Number 9, another returning factor, scout rifles. Still unusable, un no point to use them at all. The only ones I can think that are somewhat worth using are Randy's throwing knife, which is still a very good scout rifle. Uh, it possibly might have, there might be more than that, but I never hardly see many scouts. I never really do. Um, they haven't changed. The only time you've ever seen scouts as much was when people were grinding for Randy's. That was about it. And ever since everybody got Randy's, like, you'll see, you'll, you might see Randy's every now and then, Crucible. Every now and then, but still, even that. Even the best scout in the game does not use hardly as much as it should be. Scouts just seem like they're kind of pointless right now. There's no point in using them. Um, once again, another minor complaint. I'm not much of a scout rifle guy, but I like, you know, I like to see some diversity in Crucible. Uh, I don't, I don't like seeing the same shit over and over, but yeah, scouts should be used more often. Scouts need something to help them out. I don't know what you can help them out at this point because the range on hand cannons and pulses have been nerfed a little bit. Well, hand cannons more than pulses, but still, there's still no reason to really to use scouts. Most people that sit in the back of the map are just breathing on their scopes or their snipers, so there's really no point. So yeah, that's number nine. Not a big complaint, but just something I wanted to bring up. Number 8, Classic Mix. Classic Mix is the only connection-based playlist in the game besides Trials. And that's a problem because if you want to just go chill and play without having to worry about connections and sweaty games, Classic Mix is like your only escape. And Classic Mix is a complete cesspool of KD farmers, sweats, people just wanting to farm their KDs and stats. That's all it is. Um, six stacks. It's, it's kind of annoying. Uh, sometimes Classic Mix can be fun. I played a couple of Classic Mix games and I got in some games with streamers. Still though, it was it was pretty fun. People have all different skill levels, you have a good time sometimes, but for the most part, you're running into six stacks of sweat, wanting to just farm people. Uh, uh, I don't have a problem playing against those people because I can keep up with them, but when they're in six stacks, it's just, they're coordinating, they're playing like it's comp. It's a little annoying, but yeah, Classic Mix, I can see how it's not fun to the average player. It's not really fair to them. Uh, and there's just no point playing it. It's just, it's a cesspool right now. Number seven, Crucible Rewards. This one's a big one. Uh, Crucible Rewards, there's no incentive to play Crucible. Unless you're grinding for rituals, which there are none this season. Uh, I'm guessing it's a bandwidth problem for Bungie because they added trials and they brought back old weapons like Summoner and Astral Horizon and all that stuff. Um, but there's really no point to go play Crucible besides bounties and getting your weeklies done for the average person. Like, you know, if you're a PvE mate, mostly player, there's no reason for you to play Crucible besides that. Uh, you probably hate Crucible, uh, which is not right. Uh, Crucible should be a fun experience for everybody, but it's really not right now. 
And there's no, you get no good rewards out of it. You get a last perdition, which is a good pulse, I guess. I've never really, I don't use pulses really. But I see a lot of people rocking it. Uh, it's a good pulse, but it's not at the same level. Like, none of the rewards you get from the Crucible Loot Pool are the same level as I as Luna. Like, if you got an I as Luna to drop in D1, that was hoggers. Oh my god, it's gonna be, this is, oh my god, I hope it's a good roll. That, that's, that's the incentive I think Crucible is missing. You need good weapons in that playlist to drop. Um, I'm not saying give everybody a good weapon, uh, no. Uh, but if you're going to add a good weapon in that loot pool, just from playing Crucible, you sh it should be, if it's a good weapon, like a good Hankin, like something equivalent to IS Luna. If you bring something like that back, make it really rare to get to drop. Don't make it to only, you can only get it, I don't know, after a Crucible match, don't make it so you can just token slam, because I just, I don't like the token system, period. I hate the token system, despise it. But like, make it something like that where it's rare to get, and so people can get hyped and they have a reason to play Crucible all day. I don't know. But other than that, the Crucible rewards are very stale, and there's no reason to really play Crucible besides, you know, enjoying Crucible, being a Crucible player like me and my friends. Um, but if you're just like a PvE player, there's no reason for you to play Crucible. And it's kind of sad, because Crucible can be really fun, man. It can You can really have a fun time in Crucible. But other than that, though, there's no reason to play it. No incentive. Number six, hand can range. When Shadow Keep first dropped... I made a review and I said hand cannon range wasn't a big deal to me. When I made that video, I had not went in more depth without trying other hand cannon archetypes like 140s and 110s. I was just using 150s. I was using spare rations. I was using odd stuff because that's just what I was using. And I was like, eh, the range is noticeable, but it's not a big deal. You know, it's fine. But after pulling out 140s and using them, it's just hand cannon range. Something needs to happen with hand cannon range. Especially in this current sandbox, the way autos are. Autos, I'm not going to say they're overpowered. The only one I had a problem with was hard light. Hard light's already been addressed, already been nerfed. As of this video, I don't see it nearly as much anymore. It's still a good auto rifle, but that's been that's been dealt with. Most other auto rifles, they're very reliable and they're good now. They're really good now, which I, I have no problem with. I, autos needed some love, some kind of love. But auto rifles are a thin line, which I guess you can kind of put this in auto rifles with hand cannon range. Uh, auto rifles are very thin, very like. You have to walk that line very carefully. For the simple fact, auto rifles have ease of use. They're an entry-level weapon. Uh, but if you make them too good, it becomes a spray meta, and no one wants that. Uh, I'm not saying autos are at that point right now. Some of them can be. Suros will always spun up as an insane time to kill. But Suros is easy to counter. It's not that hard to counter. Uh, you can counter before it's fully spun up. Unless somebody's you know, pre-firing around a corner. That's a little bit of a problem. Uh... Auto rifles overall, though, I don't think they're too broken. I don't think they're overpowered or nothing. Uh, they're really good, uh, but you can easily counter them with hand cannons. So you can hit your shots. But just auto rifles is a thin line to be walking. And the hand cannon range, I think, if we're going to have autos this strong, which I'm fine with, but if we're not autos this strong, we need to bring, bring back some hand cannon range. Not to where it was pre Shadow Keep, where you could be at map with a spare or an ace of spades. Nothing like that. Just. Give hand cannons back some of the range, because 26 meters to 27 meters for most hand cannons is a little underwhelming. Like, I'm not even going to lie. It's a little much. I'm not saying to bump them up to 35 meters or anything crazy like that. Maybe, maybe around max 32 meters, maybe, if you have a fully decked out hand cannon with range sats and perks. Uh, like I said, nothing crazy, but bring back some of the range, because it's, it's sometimes needed. It's sometimes needed. That brings me into my fifth point which is 140 and 110 hand cannons they are completely useless in the sandbox 150 is reign supreme and there's literally no reason to run a 140 unless you're running explosive payload uh like a kindled orchid uh explosive payload kindled orchid is a very good hand cannon to use in the sandbox you get splash damage no fall off damage with the explosive payload you can flinch people in gunfights uh, but a regular like a curated Kindle Orchid like I have. I actually got a curated Kindle Orchid to drop from the portage the other day with a kill clip and rampage. Like the curated roll. The roll. Uh, I was a little hyped for it at first. I was like, dude, the hell yeah, the, the two tap machine. But I was like, I, I came back to reality. I was like, man, it's, it's useless in this sandbox. I'm not going to be able to kill somebody with a 150 fast enough to even get this to proc. Um, most weapons, like even ARs, are going to beat me. With this thing, because a 0.7 TTK is beats a one point, I uh, beats a 0.87 TTK. Uh, 
D DMG Dylan has addressed this and told the team he he's he's taking a poll going asking people what would they like to see the 140 the 110 people have told them more range more damage uh give like and i agree 140 and 110s should give them more range make them a two head one body i think that's the best way to balance 140s to bring them up to the level of a 150 and every other weapon because there are a lot of 140s i love in this game i want to use my Ostringer again i love my Ostringer to fucking death i love that thing i love ace of spades ace of spades is still viable in the sandbox but it's not top tier uh you got Ace of Spades, you got Kindled, you got Ostringer. Old Fashioned, if you don't have an explosive payload on it, it's a good one. But 140s in the same box literally have no place. And it just sucks because there are a lot of good 140s and 110s that people would like to use. Like Duke. I fucking loved Duke pre Shadow Keep. Love Duke. You've seen a lot of people used to run Duke. But there's literally no point to run it anymore. There's none. None at all. It doesn't have the range you used to have, and you're going to get beaten by every other hand cannon. So, 140s, 110s, they need a range nerf, and a, as well as a two-head, one-body buff. That, that, uh, did I say range nerf? You need a range buff, along with two-head, one-body uh, buff. That, 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 I think that's what's going to help those archetypes. Like, 140 should be one, two-head, one-body, and I, and I think 110 should be one-head, two-bodies. That's me, personally. Let me know what you guys think, but other than that, that's I. They need help because 150s. As much as I like my 150 hand cannons, they grow stale. It gets stale seeing the same hand cannons. Number four, sniper flinch. Oh lord, this is a huge one. Snipers need addressed bad. In terms of flinch, it's it's getting a little ridiculous. People that will hard scope lanes and just stand there, and they can you can literally dome these people in the head and they will still knock your fucking brains out with a sniper there is no penalty to hard scoping in this game with the flinch the way it is if you've seen a couple videos you see that the flinch will knock your aim on somebody's head it's happened to me quite a few times it's a little ridiculous uh, it needs fixed there should be no you shouldn't be penalized for challenging a sniper and as they're hard scoping and doming them and then getting pretty much screwed because flinch helps them hit you. There, there, that needs to be fixed. It's a little, it's a little too much. Uh, snipers need addressed a little bit when it comes to that. But the flinch is just, it's a little ridiculous at this point. Number three, this is a recent one. Antaeus Wards. Wow, another exotic for Titans. That's a little stupid powerful. It's, it's kind of stupid. Immunity. It's like, what, 0.5 seconds immunity? Immunity? That don't sound like a lot, but in a game like Destiny, 0.5 is a good while when most weapons take a TTK of 0.8 and lower. An auto rifle takes 0.7, which is probably the best TTK in the game. Hand cannons, at least 150s, take 0.8. Soros fully sped up takes 0.4, which is probably... I don't, it, it's a little much, man. Antaeus Wards. And you get a 360 thing of immunity. So it's all around you. It's not just the front when you're sliding. And it's every slide. And you can ricochet damage back. You can ricochet super projectiles back. It's it's a little much. Antaeus are a little, a little bit of a problem. Especially in trials. Especially, it's, I put it to you like this. In this match right here, it happened to me quite a few times. I would go around a corner with a guy that's close to me, hoping to have a shotgun battle with him. You, this guy, I couldn't shotgun battle him because he had to entail us up every time he slid. You can't duel it. You cannot duel Antaeus. It, it's impossible. If you get a shotgun battle somebody who's Antaeus, you've lost immediately. It's, they need addressed. I don't know how you're going to fix them, but Antaeus is, a little, is becoming a, a lot more of a problem and it needs addressed. Number two, the servers. They're not in the best shape. Uh, this is back from the old video. Peer-to-peer -peer servers, hybrid servers, wherever they are now. They're not the best. I know I know. there's no point of this because Bungie said you won't, you won't get dedicated servers only two. We might, if there's a D3, we might get dedicated servers. Uh, there are dedicated servers in this game, but it's a hybrid of peer-to-peer -peer and dedicated. Because they do host their own servers in some games, but it's a hybrid system. 
which I'm not a big fan of. If we can get like strictly dedicated servers, that'd be amazing. But the chances of that happen are pretty low. Um, error codes, beavers getting knocked out of games before it happens. Just overall, the servers are not in good shape. I don't know if it's due to the game becoming so big, or it's just I don't know. The servers need addressed though; they're not in great shape, and they just need, they could be better. And number one, beating like a dead horse, and we'll keep beating it even more. Hackers, cheaters—they're running rampant, and I know Destiny's already bond, already addressed it. They're already set in stone of places that uh, things are going to be doing to take care of hackers and cheaters, which I'm happy that Twab was amazing. I'm excited for the changes to come. I'm ready for them to come. Uh, giggity. But yeah, I just might, this is the number one problem in uh, Chris Barry, just hackers and cheaters, mainly in comp and trials. I've seen a couple hackers and cheaters in quick play. Uh, the other day I played against a guy that was wall hacking, obviously. Like, I literally checked his Destiny Tracker and he had 97% win rate in trials. Which in the state trials then, how are you doing that? I'm like, what? No. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's... That's the number one, and I know it's going to get addressed. Thanks, Thankfully, Bungie's addressed it, and they're going to take care of it. I, I can't wait for it to happen. All right, that's my problems with, with uh, Crucible in general. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys next one, and have a nice day.